What is up guys? It's Fanboy from Super Like a Fanboy and today we got another Lego Ninjago so first use us been just use slash core set. This is set number seven one seven eight five. Age is not up. This is Jay's Titan Mech. Has seven hundred ninety four pieces. You get uh let's see uh maybe six five and a half minifigures. Uh, uh the bone pieces. Uh, a little side build for the villain, and of course the uh, mech itself. Before we take a look at the set, the box artwork. Ooh. That's right. This is very nicely done right there. And the minifigures, we get our... Hang on, I'm gonna try it. Focus, uh, here we go. We got Jay, Nia, and uh, a pixel bot. Uh, it said once once set in the box a Woobot, but I'm really glad I like, fixed that. Anyways, we got the Bone King, a Bone Knight, and a Bone Hunter. And we let's flip this around. Woo. Flip it around. Um, here's well everything this set can uh, do. Uh, here's some gimmicks this set could actually do. Here, and it says on the side right there. It's 28 centimeters or 11 inches. So let's look at the box. Now let's take a look at the uh, mech. Now let's move these guys out of the way. And move the, the, side, the side bill of this set. And we'll get take a better good look at this mech. So here's... Today's uh, Titan Mech. Whoop. Uh, well, that this is probably one of the most interesting mechs I have ever seen. Uh, the color scheme they uses are blue, uh, white, gold. Um, there's some red right there. That's for the color scheme right there. And we have actually seen this in Ninjago. Uh, in Dra Dragon's Rising, the very first episode uh, where Jay was flying this in, into that storm, the merge, if I remember correctly. And, um, yeah, well, I gotta say, this is probably a very skinny mech, in my opinion. Um, let me raise this up. Uh, the head is pretty nicely done right there. Looks like, um, I don't know, like something really cool. Looks like something like Remind me a lot of the Zane's Titan Mech Battle, the legacy version of it. And what's interesting about this is this uh, thing right here on the back of it. I'm not entirely really sure what this is, but I think this might be like a ninja, like the head wrap of like a ninja. I mean, like, if you, uh, hang on, let me, like the head wrap, like goes like around the back there. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, it actually uses some, some of those tubes that actually give it. Um, some decent range of motions, apparently. Um, it uses these two uh, gold clip pieces to, I guess, present present the other like these the blue pieces from falling off. That's my guess. Yeah. Here. Um. Uh, hang on, let me raise that up. Uh, one thing I like about this is I have these giant cannons that you can actually. You get two of those so that can fire, and they can probably leave a big, da big damage right there. Woo. So I'm trying best to hold everything in place, guys. So cut me some slack. And um, I don't know what this says right there. Um, probably it's if you guys know what this is, it's from can if you guys have like any idea what this says, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. That would be really helpful. Um, possibility, uh, this is actually pretty interesting. Uh, the cannons can be moved because they're on the ball joint. Like I said, the head, neck, the head can move as well as the neck. Um, the arms can go all the way up, up like this. Uh, they're on the ratchet joints, but right the the elbow right here. These uh, we got some rotation in the hands. Uh, they Arm, lower part of the arm right there, so you can go ahead and go that way. The hands, uh, it's on a ball joint. Uh, the fingers are also on 
uh, the fingers can also be moved. There, same with both the arms. Uh, moving on to the legs, um, you get some ratchet joints, which they can go back there, and they can go forward like this. Uh, we got some neat jo joints, this is rig which we rarely get in some of the Lego sets. And for the feet, uh, we only get a uh, side to side motion right there. Uh, these, uh, keep these blades right here, they are actually removable, so you can actually have Jay, the mech holding these swords. And I gotta say, this mech has no shortage of weapons, which is pretty nice. Uh, speaking of uh, weapons, let's say we got a giant sword right here, which is pretty ridiculous looking, but like it's super crazy looking, and I like it. Oops, a part was came up that was not supposed to happen. And to give you an idea how, and to give you an idea what would Jay Black actually look like in this mech, um, there's a a place to for Jay to sit, uh, sit or maybe stand. I'm, I'm guessing. Um, my. Hang on, trying my best to get Jay in there. So here we have Jay and his uh, mech. And I guess I just feel a little more uh, completed. And, and it's just because, well, the neck kind of, if you add Jay maybe it makes the neck looks a little more well supported. Right there. And to give you an idea of size comparison, uh, we actually have one of my personal favorite mechs. And that is Nia Samurai X Mech from Ninjago Crystallize. Um, as you, I can clearly see, Nia Samurai X Mech is a little taller than Jay's Titan Mech. And this is actually my first time looking at the size of these two. Not what I was expecting. I thought these two would be like closer to the same size, but. Wow, talk about height differences right there. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, uh. Uh, there's something I forgot to mention about this, uh, shore right here. Uh, this blade piece can actually, uh, be spin. Um, if you can try to get. Um. Uh, let me see. This, uh, this thing can be removed. Just. Like the other swords on his uh, neck right there, and it can spin pretty well if you have it removed. And to give you an idea what would Jay will actually look like with holding the, these two swords, um, this is this can be very uh, uh, I'm trying my best to get it all. Whoa, let's try to get it. Try and get it like. This mech can be a little uh, fragile. Um, so here we have Jay holding the two swords, and I gotta say they look okay. Um, they're both being held by these uh black uh connector pieces by the side of the leg uh right there and in my opinion i think this would i this is this, this feels a little more i prefer like to have it like have the swords like on his like leg right there you know like one of those things like people would use to carry the swords in like i'm not entirely sure what they're called um if you guys know what i'm talking about uh let me know in the comment section down below what they're called that would be really helpful and yeah, big short right there, which goes in his hand just right, uh, uh, right there. There. So I think this mech is pretty, look, looks pretty okay. Might be a lot of things. Titan mech from this piece right there. And maybe some cannons. But overall, I think this is just a really nice looking mech. It does have its flaws though, but it's still okay. Now let's take a look at the side build that this set comes with. So let's move the mech um, out of the way. There we 
go. Uh, aim the camera down just a little bit. Uh, this set for the villains, you get a, a ballista, I think that's what they're called. I'm not entirely sure. And um, this is for the bone villains, obviously, because, well, there's black, uh, red, and there's some green right there for the animals. And now I was having trouble with having the thing too well fired. That's pretty much the gimmick of the set, so I will try to get it on the camera for you guys. So the way I fire them, you just use this uh, white uh, piece, right? This white, uh, uh, I don't know what, like the, uh, well, use this, use this white piece and just try to fire, fire. Uh, there we go, there's one, there's two, there's three. All right, I got him first on the camera. Uh, this said you you do get an extra one, which is very nice in case if you lose one. So that is really. Oops, that one fell overboard. Good thing we got an extra one. Overall, I think this is just an okay side bill for the uh, villains right there. Now, before we take a look at the figures, we gotta talk about the uh, weapons, the bone weapons that were not used in this set. So. The weapons are not were not used were one of the Bone King's like helmet piece right there. Uh one of the sights. Uh one uh bone sword and for an all for the bone shuriken right there. So now let's take a look at our minifigures. So um well here we go. So the minifigures we get are J, Nia, Pixel Butt, the the Bone King, uh Bone and Knight. And lastly, the uh, Bone Hunter. Here's a look at Jay. As you can see, this is pretty much the same set, uh, Jay we got on some of the other uh, core uh, sets. I'm trying to get it into focus right there. Uh, there we go. The only thing I see that's different about him is that he has a golden sword on his back right there. And he has his nunchucks. Uh, nice printing on the front of his torso and some nice printing on the legs there. And we have seen Jay wear this in the very first episode of Ninjago's Dragon's Rising, which was not, was unexpected for me. Uh, some nice back printing right there, which is very nicely done. Um, he has his, uh, his angry face, and he has his, uh, very happy face. So, same face we gotten since the Ninjago movie. Right there. Overall... Jay is overall my favorite minifig, my favorite ninja from Ninjago. Next up we have his girlfriend, which is Nia, the water ninja. Uh, Jay is also is the lightning ninja. And just like Nia, uh, just like Jay, there's nothing too special about her. We've seen this Nia with a golden short and a Kai's Mech Rider uh, Evo set. Uh, this time she has her giant weapon right there. Um, let me move the armor piece right there. <coughs> Whoops. Uh, might as well take a weapon right there. Uh, she has some uh, nice printing on the front there. Some nice printing, well, I mean, on the back right there. Uh, some nice printing on her legs and her torso right there. Uh, she has her two faces. She has her really angry face and her really happy face for seeing Jay. Since they are both yin and yang. Um, I am not really sure what that means. Uh, if you guys know what that means, uh, let me know in the comment sections down below. That would be really helpful. Hmm. Now, this is now if I now when I first saw this minifigure, I was unexpected, and that is a pixel bot. But as we, I think we might know, this is this could be a mini pix, but um, but but but. Before, it's on the box, top of the box, it said Woobot, but now they fix it and say send it to a Pixelbot, which is much better because here's a Woo Woobot to compare the two, and here's the Pixelbot. Um, what do you guys prefer, the Woobot or the Pixelbot? 
Personally, I gotta go with the Pixelbot because because of that face print right there. Because if you guys remember, I kind of made a video of how you can make your own Mini Pix 7 a while ago. And I think you can actually use this printer face to make your own uh, Mini Pix 7 right there. So yeah, that's the comparison of these two. Um, yeah. Um, so nothing, so just uses some uh, like brick pieces, uses some white legs right there. I really love the face print though. And uses the uh, ninja's like, the, uh, well, Pixel's golden like helmet for her samurai helmet piece right there. But overall, I'm really satisfied with this figure. Now, uh, when I first saw, saw it, I really wanted that minifigure, the Pixel bot right there. Now here we have the Bone King. Um, let me get him focused. As you can see, he is pretty much identical from the other Bone Kings that we saw before. I think the only thing I see about different about him is his, he has a shield now. Um, still has that printing on some nice back printing right there. Looks like he has a nice front print on the front and on his legs right there. And if you aim his legs down, you can actually make a skull right there. So which is pretty interesting. Uh, none of the bone villains have double-sided faces, so that's kind of unfortunate. I would love to see if we got a double-sided hedge. Now here we have the uh, Bone Knight right there. Um, but this is pretty much identical from Zane's Ice Dragon creature. Um, but still very nice to get. Uh, we've got some stickers on his flag right there. Uh, I forgot to mention there are a ton of stickers on uh, Jay's Titanmech, so be beware of that, guys. Um, if we move his armor piece, which was the same armor piece we saw in Ninjago Master of the Mountain for the ninjas. Um, some nice back print right there. And some nice printing on his front and his legs right there. And he uses the uh, Crystal King uh, Oni Garmadon Oni Lloyd uh, helmet piece. So that's pretty interesting right there. And he uses one of the uh, bone uh, scythes right there. So that's pretty interesting. Now he next and the last sub mini last minute figure is the Bone Hunter. And I pretty sure he is probably the same minifigure we got in some of the other new uh, core sets. Um, nice printing on the back there. Um, no double sided face because of the hat. So nice printing on the front there. On his torso and his legs. And he uses two, well, uses the bone uh, dagger that I'm calling him. So yeah, that's it for the minifigures. Let's bring everything back in. The blessed stuff. Bring out the mech. Another thing, another thing back in. Oh, let's get a more fo make focus again. There we go. So, what are my overall thoughts about this set? I mean, when I first saw this, I was really into it because of the pixel bot. And even to this day, this best, the best thing about this set is the pixel bot. But the mech is pretty decently done. I was gonna say this is much better than the 4 plus electro mech, which a lot of people hate. I mean, I think it's okay, but this just. So that electro mech is, well, this is the guy who tells you not to worry about. But overall, I give this set two thumbs up for the minifigures, and we get a big mech for Jay. So yeah, so that was that was it, guys. This was the review on the Lego Ninjago Virtues of Spinjitzer Slash Core Jay's Titan Mech. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications bell so you won't miss out any more awesome videos. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you next time.